Hello, my blonde bombshellers. Anyway, I'm coming to you tonight in spirit of the holiday. We're not going to talk about what happened yesterday or today. Well, maybe we'll get to that later. Right now, I want to talk about the upcoming holiday, not Christmas, Thanksgiving. What it means to be grateful for all the blessings you already have and how you have the difference to make a change in someone else's life. You know, when I was in sixth grade, a teacher that always, you know, it was so funny. I was scared of this man because of how loud his voice was. But at the same time, he had a kind, caring heart. And during our sixth grade graduation, which we had at Bennett School several years ago, now Bennett School here in Mattoon's gone, long gone. But I went there, my grandpa went there, and that school will always be a cherished memory. And I still think that was the biggest mistake this town ever did. But that's another story. <laughs> I'm full of stories, if you can't tell. Look at how many stories I got here on YouTube. Anyway, that sixth grade teacher, during our graduation, told the most amazing story of how one person can make a difference. And I thought going into this holiday you know, season, what a difference we could make, not only with COVID and gift giving, but how we could take the focus out of, I want, I must have, and all of this holiday shopping, and just take that focus and focus on others in need. But before we do that, I want to share with you something I received in the mail. It's a thank you note. Now, many of you who are friends with me on Facebook, I already shared this so you can fast forward. But I'm going to share it again because it touched my heart so deep it brought tears to my eyes knowing that something I did helped bring some joy and hopefully peace to this little girl's family. Thanks to the St. Jude friends like you, our ultimate Christmas wish came true. Mabry is cancer free. She'll spend Christmas with her brother Caleb and her cousins. We can never thank you enough for the hope you gave us while in treatment at St. Jude, and even now, as we watch our beautiful, healthy little girl grow up. Merry Christmas, Alan and Jenny, Mabry's parents. I gotta tell you something. I don't donate that much, but I donate what I can afford. And if everybody would do that, what a difference you could make in somebody else's life. I try to alternate between St. Jude's between the ASPCA, the Disabled Veterans, and during this time of the holiday season when they have the red kettle out front county market, I donate. When I see the hope bags inside county market, I, I try my best to donate. I've only bought two this holiday season, but I hope to buy at least four more. And uh, it's not how much you do, it's the little act of kindness that you do that matters. I have a love of seashells and when our sixth grade teacher told this story about starfish even though we live in Illinois and there's no big grand lake and beach around here we have just man-made stuff you know this story touched me deeply and I think to this day is what has inspired me so greatly and grandma of course upstairs to realize that the holiday matters most about family and friends. And if you turn on the news and you see these other states and they're in line for food, these are our United States. We all suffer the same thing together and we can all get through this together as united because divided we fall. And I hope when you watch this next part of the video, it hits you right here. And it makes you want to go out and donate if what I haven't said hasn't touched you already. It's called the Starfish Story. And I found a web page where it was on countryschool.net news daily. And it says 411 2019 the Starfish Story making a difference. By the head of lower school Megan Martlett. Matlin or Marlin, sorry if I messed up your name. At a recent assembly, I shared the starfish story with your children. For anyone unfamiliar 
with a story adapted from The Star Thrower by Loren Easley. It goes like this. One day a man was walking along the beach when he noticed a boy hurriedly picking up and gently throwing things into the ocean. Approaching the boy, he asked, Young man, what are you doing? The boy replied, Throwing starfish back into the ocean. The surf is coming up and the tide is going out. If I don't throw them back, they'll die. The man laughed to himself and said, Don't you realize there are miles and miles of this beach and hundreds of starfish? You can't make any difference. After listening politely, the boy bent down, picked up another starfish, and he threw it into the surf. The smiling at, at that man, he turned to smile at that man and said, I made a difference to that one. Now the girl goes on, and I'm going to read what she says on this page. But hearing that story, I hope it moves you to make a difference to someone this holiday season. I use this story at my platforms to introduce two key concepts to your children. The first is that no act of kindness, regardless of how small it might seem, is ever wasted. Every time we make the decision to be kind and to be a helper to others, we have a positive impact on the world. The second point, and I emphasize this, which I particularly resonates with me from this story, is that you do, do not have to wait until you are grown up to make a difference. In fact, the wiser of the character in the story is the child. I want our children to be empowered with the knowledge that they can have an impact right now on the world around them and by the choices they make and the way they extend kindness to others. Uh, it says at this morning assembly, I, as, as I revisited the starfish story with your children and reiterated these points as the launch to our lower, lower school community kindness community project, I invite your children not to only seek opportunities to be kind, but also catch others extending kindness. And then she continues on about what's happening at their school. I would like not only the children that have sat and listened to that just now, but the parents the ones who don't have children but wish they would have and that's partly why I donate to St. Jude. Somebody asked me, well when you go to get your hair cut and how about styling it? Well I donate my hair. I grow it to a certain length and then when I get comfortable with it I donate it. Sometimes to beautiful links by Pantene, sometimes to other various hair projects, but I always make sure that it's a project where they don't have to pay for the hair. Why? I'm making a difference for that one person. If you exit a store and you see a red kettle this season, whatever change you got from that transaction you made, whether it's groceries or holiday shopping, take and put it in that kettle. Make a difference for that one person. I urge you, even if it's an animal that you see on a street and you you make a difference by showing kindness and compassion. This country needs more of that. Let's stop turning our heads and being so self-centered. Let's start focusing on being a better country, a better nation. Let's rise above the me, 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 me and make it more united. When I show you all these things that I have done, it's not so I can say, yay, me. And so I can impact you. So you, it, it drives you. It makes you want to make a difference. Um, somebody asked me about uh, the candy kitchen at Tuscola. And I'm going to go on to that. They have a library book wall. Which I've said this many times before. And I'll say it again. You can go in. Pick a book out. They, you know, they have a jar for donations for their library there. So they can you know, continue on. But also you're welcome to bring books from either adult to children and right now they're needing books for their children wall I went to Goodwill tonight I went to Dollar General in search of books not just for myself but in search for those children this was a rough year economically there's a lot of kids that are probably have to I don't even want to say it but when I even see toys for tots next paycheck I'm gonna make it 
a point to get one toy for a boy and one toy for a girl and put it in that box and I hope that you do too. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. I was never blessed with children and at age 43 I may never be biologically blessed but for those who have children whether sick or whether they're struggling to make ends meet I will do my best to help you the best way that I can with Toys for Tots, St. Jude's, or up at Tuscola donating books so that those kids can go in and get a book and not know the gift of joy of reading. <sighs> These issues matter so much to me. And I urge you to make a difference, not in your life, but in somebody else's. That act of kindness is so small to you but may mean the world to somebody else I have a friend today that I call her my work mom because she's older than me and has always been like a mentor to me we all work from home but I always make a point to bring her the magazines that I've already read and I know that she loves historical romances so I take and I exchange these books up there at the candy kitchen because they've got this wall, mind you. Some are for adults and some are for the children. And I always make a point to look for the historical romances in exchange for the, the kid books so that this circle is non-stop and it keeps going. I have a friend that gave me books a couple years ago in the mail, wanted to cheer me up. I not, haven't forgotten that. And this year, my goal is to get some books and send them back to that friend just as a hey I haven't forgotten the kind act that you did for me a few years ago I want to more than anything this holiday season make a difference for others and I hope that's the legacy that I always have in my life is that I've made a difference for others and I hope that I can stress how important it is for each and every one of you to do the same that's all I have to say on this video. Stay tuned. Once I compose myself, I'll be back. And we'll probably do a little bit of Cowboy Strong, my favorite book that I've read lately, that I love sharing with you all. And probably a magazine or two review because I forgot to put some magazines. I mean, I gave her a bunch of magazines today, but I forgot to put a bunch of them in there because I keep marking them. Ironically enough, I told her, I said, there's a contest that the Oprah magazine is going to have coming up. And I already went ahead and marked the pages where the little emblem was on the on the page. So all she had to do was enter in where the emblem was when it came time for that specific day. But I also wrote it down for myself so I could enter it in because if I win and if it's something I don't like, then maybe I can take that gift and pass it on to someone else. It's all about giving. Being thankful for what you have. Grateful for what you have. And blessing others in this time of need. I hope that that really made you stop and think and maybe make a difference for someone else. God bless.